Hello and welcome to Rescue Speechless. Today's video is be Wasteland themed skin combos. Let's get into this video. This video is going to be Wasteland themed combos and this video was suggested by Necros. Thank you very much for the video suggestion. And they said Wasteland style combos to fit next season. From what we've seen from Fortnite from the trailers and also the screenshots next season we have a Fallout X Fortnite collab coming and in the season we'll be able to use Power Armor in game which is pretty cool. And most likely we'll get Fallout related skins either in the Battle Pass or in the item shop to be able to be purchased. And also the whole season itself seems to be Wasteland themed as well. So for this video, I'll try to use five skins, two combos for each. that work very nicely to complement next season if it is a Wasteland theme. And the first skin is Psycho Bandit, which is a gaming legend series skin, part of the Mayhem set, introduced in Chapter 1 Season X. And this is from Borderlands, works very nicely. Be cool to see F Borderlands skins, would be very nice. But finding Psycho Bandit, in my opinion, is probably the best skin to use in the Wasteland season. Back bling is a gold token, part of the John Wick set. Introduced in Chapter 1, Season 9. Using it for gold design. And you got this back bling for getting challenges done in John Wick Bounty LTM. Pickaxe is a Harley hitter. Part of the Gotham City set. Introduced in Chapter 2, Season 1. Probably one of my favourite DC series pickaxes. This one and Catwoman's Grapple Claw are definitely my top two DC series pickaxes I own. This works very nicely to complement the Psycho Bandit skin. Glider is a crashing satellite. I've never personally used this glider, but it works very nicely for the Wasteland theme. I was either going to use this one or the x Lords glider. Or you always can use anything that's rubble themed, or like, say, for example, the x Lords glider, this one, or anything like, you know, basically destroyed to go like the Wasteland theme. And this is Rick Grimes' glider, part of the Surviving Arms set, introduced in Chapter 2, Season 8. Contrail is exhaust, part of the Aviation Age set. Introduced in Chapter 1, Season 6, similar to the actual glider. I thought I'd use some sort of rubble, and I find this is the best control that I have. Let's move on to the first weapon right now, which is this one right here, which is Life is a Beach. Introduced in Chapter 2, Season 7, works very nicely for sandy design, goes very nicely for the yellow as well with this skin. Let's move on to the second combo for the Psycho Bandit skin. For this one, I thought I'd use a trophy sack. Part of the Storm Scavengers set. Introduced in Chapter 1 Season X's Bat Pass. I'm pretty sure this is X Lord's Bat Bling from that season. I'll buy the X Lord's Bat Bling. I'm pretty sure he had two from that season. Works very nicely. Pickaxe is the Yoda's Cane. Part of the original trilogy set. Introduced in Chapter 5 Season 2. This is Star Wars Series Pickaxe. And this is Dagobah Luke's Pickaxe. I was either going to use this one or the Obi-Wan's Blade. Either of those work nicely. Let's move on to the second weapon wrap now. Which is this one right here, which is a Gaming Legend series ref wrap, which is Mayhem, part of the Mayhem set, introduced in Chapter 1, Season X, and this is a Psycho Bandits ref wrap, or aka the Borderlands ref wrap. It'd be cool to see the Psycho Bandits skin come back, so obviously it hasn't been back for a while. I know you got it on the Epic Games Store if you purchased Borderlands 3, and it will, I'm pretty sure it was also in the outfit for a little while as well. It'd be, it'd be a perfect time to basically for Epic to re release this skin next season for the Wasteland theme. Let's move on to the second skin now. Which is the Rust Lord. You can also use the X Lord from Chapter 1 Season X if you didn't play Chapter 1 Season 3. But this is a pretty OG skin. And the actual Rust Lord skin itself works very nicely with the Wasteland theme. Back bling is a Renegade Rust Cat. Part of the Storm Scavenger Link set. Introduced in Chapter Fortnite OG. Season Fortnite OG's Battle Pass. And the style I'm using is just a standard Renegade Rust Cat. Goes very nicely with the Rust Lord style. And the Renegade Links was the skins. This is Renegade Links' is back bling from the Fortnite OG Battle Pass pickaxe. It's the Fang Saws, part of the Storm Scavenger set. Introduced in Chapter 1, Season X is Battle Pass and is the X Lord's pickaxe. And I'm using the Rust style, which goes very nicely with the Rust Lord's orange of his jacket. Let's move on to the third weapon wrap now, which is this one right here, which is also from the Chapter 4 OG season, which is Raiders return which is the renegade links's web wrap works very nicely for the orange black and blue design let's move on to next combo which is combo number four now and the second for the rust lord skin back bling is a spiked satchel part of the storm scavenger links set in shoes chapter one season x as i mentioned in the cycle bandits combo the second one basically that's one the trophy sack is one the back brings this is the ever back bling that uh, that basically goes with the x lord skin and for this one i'm using color rust to go with the actual color scheme of the rust lord skin Pickaxe is the Eddie's Spear, part of the Stranger Things set, introduced in Chapter 4 Night OG, Season 4 Night OG, using it for the brown design or brown theme. Let's move on to the weapon wrap now, which is this one right here, which is an orange and brown themed weapon wrap, which is Cool Sign Wolf, part of the Air Royale set, introduced in Chapter 1, Season 8. I found this is the hardest thing to, I found the wraps the hardest to combo with the skins to make it like Wasteland themed. 
Let's move on to combo number five and on to the next skin now, which is Renegade Lynx. Part of the Storm Scavenger Lynx set, introduced in Chapter Fortnite OG, Season Fortnite OG Season. I'm using the standard style, which is Renegade Lynx with the accessory Storm Mask. But if you do prefer to have glasses up or down, it's totally up to you which one you want to use. But I just decided to go for Renegade Lynx style with the accessory Storm Mask, basically Lynx is mask. Back bling is a rust bucket, part of the Storm Scavenger set, introduced in Chapter 1 Season 3. And this was a free reward for you could get basically for extended maintenance in Chapter 1 Season 3. I never really understood why they just didn't give this as Rust Lord's back bling from that season. But either way, if you've played Chapter 1 Season 3, you would have got given this back bling for free. Obviously, extended maintenance. Pickaxe is Steve's bat. Part of the Strange Things set, introduced in Chapter 4 the OG, Season 4 the OG. I'm using this for the brown design, basically a spiked bat. Let's move on to the breath wrap for this combo now, which is this one right here, which is the Cool Sign Falcon, part of the Air Royale set, introduced in Chapter 1, Season 8. I'm using it for the black and brown design. Let's move on to the next combo, which is combo number 6 now. For this one, I thought I'd go for an OG back bling and pickaxe. The OG back bling is a square shield, part of the Fortnite set, introduced in Chapter 1, Season 2's Black Pass. You can also use the other one, there's also a squire, there's also the other shield. I completely forgot the name of the other shield. I'll quickly have a look. Here we go. It is uh, so I've got the squire one on. You can also use the Roy the Royale Royale shield or squire, either of those work nicely. Pickaxe is the sawtooth, just quickly get rid of that. There we go. It's the sawtooth from chapter one, season three's battle pass. Part of the storm scavenger set, and this is Russell Lord's pickaxe. So it goes very nice for the wasteland theme. Let's move on to the weapon wrap now, which is Star Wars a series weapon wrap. Which is AWR armor, part of the original trilogy set, introduced in chapter four, chapter five and season two. Use it for the black and blue design. You got this weapon wrap for buying the AW, AWR trooper skin. It was bundled with it, which is pretty cool. Let's move on to the next skin. Also, is combo number seven now, which is Lara Croft, which is a gaming legend series skin, part of the Lara Croft set, introduced in chapter two, season six. And the actual, in fact, was the first ever gaming legend skin, gaming legend series skin we got. And the actual style I'm using is just a standard Lara Croft back bling. It's a Star Wars series back bling, which is, a, which is a Desert Essentials, part of the Obi-Wan Kenobi set. Introduced in Chapter 3, Season 2, using it for the brown design. Pickaxe is a combat knife, part of the Future War set. Introduced in Chapter 2, Season 5. This is Sarah Connor's pickaxe, using it for the brown design, and also just a knife in general. Let's move on to the breath wrap now, which is a fully brown themed breath wrap. Which is Rogue Archaeology, part of the Indiana Jones set, introduced in Chapter 3, Season 3's Bat Pass, and Indiana Jones was the secret skin from that season. Let's move on to combo number 8 now. For this one, I thought I'd use the Boomstick, which is part of the Nobi Cabin Nightmare set, introduced in Chapter 3, Season 4, using it for the brown and black design, and this is Ash Williams' Bat Bling. Pickaxe is the Psycho Bandit. So, psych, no, so psycho bandit, psycho buzz axes, part of the mayhem set, introduced in chapter one, season X, and this is a psycho bandit's pickaxe. Goes very nicely with the wasteland themed combos, and goes pretty nicely with the Lara Croft skin as well. Let's move on to the next weapon wrap, which is this one right here, which is a Legends Retribution, part of the Jonesy's Revenge set, introduced in chapter five, season one's Battle Pass. And I'm using this for the white and the black design mainly, but the red does work pretty nicely as well. Let's move on to the final skin now, which I thought I'd go for a Jonesy. And one I'm using is Jonesy the first. You can also use Jonesy the second disc or any version of Jonesy would work very nicely. Or if you want to use the most recent one, which is Vengeance Jonesy from last season's Battle Pass, that will also work nicely as well. I decided to go with the OG one, which is Jonesy the first. Part of the origin set, introduced in Chapter 2, Season 4. Back Bling is a Raptor's satchel, introduced in Chapter 1, Season 3. And it's a Raptor's Back Bling, works very nicely for the green and brown design. Pickaxe is a throwback axe, part of the, the origins set as well, introduced in Chapter 2, Season 4. Basically, it's a default pickaxe from Chapter 1. And basically, in Chapter 2, Season 4, they've allowed people to get it for free, or it's free for, I think, like a couple of weeks, maybe a month. If, obviously, if you claimed it in Chapter 2, Season 4, you'd have this pickaxe. Let's move on to the weapon wrap for this combo now, which is this one right here, which is a Gaming Legend Series weapon wrap, which is Shield Weaver, part of the Horizon Zero Dawn set, introduced in Chapter 2, Season 6. This weapon wrap is animated and reactive as well, and it's Aloy's weapon wrap. Works very nicely for the actual design on the weapon wrap itself, as you see that mechanical. It goes very nicely with the Wasteland themed combos. Let's move on to the final combo now. And for this one, I thought I'd use the Psycho Balance Back Bling, which is Claptrap from Borderlands. Part of the Mayhem set, introduced in Chapter 1, Season X. I thought I'd use it because it goes very nicely with the Wasteland theme. It also goes very nicely with the colour scheme with Jonesy, 
with the yellow and the white on Claptrap himself. Pickaxe is the Reaper, introduced in Chapter 1, Season 1. Just thought I'd use it for the actual brown design. Goes very nice, and it's very OG Pickaxe. Just goes nicely with the Wasteland theme. Let's move on to the final combos. Weapon Wrap now, which is this one right here. I wasn't sure what to use, so I thought I'd use the Imagined Edge. Part of the IO Inquest set, introduced in Chapter 2, Season 7. It's a reactive weapon wrap. I've decided to use it. It's got yellow, it's got black and white as well. So that's all the Wasteland themed combos done. And I really did enjoy making combos for this because we can't wait to see what skins we get next season. Obviously, just, just check out the whole new season. Obviously, new POIs, new weapons, new skins we get in the battle pass, and also new skins we'll get in the item shop as well. Thank you once again, Necros, for the video suggestion. I really did enjoy getting combos done for this. And if you do have any other video suggestions you'd like to see, for example, skin, backroom, pickaxe, guide, slash umbrella, contract, or weapon, or anything related like similar to this video something a little bit different i'm always down to give something new a go but anyways that's pretty decent